Hey guys, it's Lindsay, and this is my, like, little pre, I don't know what you want to call it, I can't even think right now, I'm on day six with zero, no allergy medicine at all whatsoever, allergy testing tomorrow, which, as bad as this sucks right now, this is just kind of like light cold symptoms, my head is so full of just garbage it's just coming and going places I know TMI but um ah, I know that tomorrow is gonna be worse I should keep telling myself it's gonna be worth it <sighs> it's gonna be worth it so anyway I just got out of the shower it's only like 7 30 7 30 at night and I am showered and in bed and exhausted and I'm not looking forward to tomorrow but I am going to try and record the whole testing process for any of you out there who are having similar allergy is just mine want to know what that's going to look like um sorry I don't mean to like just gripe and complain but I just feel like garbage right now and so when you feel sick that's kind of what you do I think I don't know um, anyways I'm gonna go sleep so I can sleep until tomorrow and get this stuff over with I will see you in the morning hey guys it's Lindsay and it is finally time we are on our way to my allergy appointment with my lovely chauffeur and cameraman. Um, today, of course, I feel even worse. You can tell my eyes are super swollen. This one more than this one, but swollen enough that it's try starting to block my vision there on the right eye. Um, so I'm gonna put the shades back so I look a little bit better. Although by the end of this, I know I'm gonna look a whole lot worse. So we're going to get ready to pull into the parking lot and we will see if they will let us film the actual procedure. If not, once they're done, then I will have Josh push up. Whip, 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 whip. Uh, this is what happens when I haven't taken my meds and I'm all stuffy and my head feels like it's in a vice grip because uh, of all the pressure. Um, anyway, words saying was gonna have him film afterwards what actually happens to my back if they won't let me film the actual procedure so we'll see if you okay so tell them what you just told me why because it's funny tell them how you thought this process went well, I, I, that's not how I thought it went I just that's how I pictured it in my brain because it amused me so, uh -huh. okay so like Picture like a, picture like a, like a metal, like plate or box or, or you know, something. You said wood. Wood, you know, whatever. And just like a bunch of little needles sticking out of it like this, like a handle. And then you just infect all the needles with all the different allergens or whatever. And they just poke you in the back with it. See, it would be faster. You said smash. You were like, smash. and then it would smash you. Needle like, smash. Ne uh, whatever. <laughs> Needle smash. Yeah. I mean, I'm just. Like the I Hulk just, or. I just, I just didn't know how you would do it. Cause like, I mean, there's like 50, right? There's close to 50. I'm not sure the exact amount. I didn't know. It was like, I didn't know how it worked. So I just pictured him like poking you with one needle, like, like almost 50 times and injecting you with a little bit of the, you know, whatever. I just like, that's going to take fucking forever. It's going to be the death of me. Um, clean off your back. Have you ever been skin tested before? Yes, I have. Okay. You're okay. <laughs> okay. So now that I clean off the back with the uh, rubbing alcohol, I'm going to get it dry with tissue. Then, you know what, guys, I think I forgot a pen, so let me go get a pen really quick. Do you have any last words? 
Yes, but my skirt is uncomfortable. Oh, I'll twist it. Because it's a total of um, 54. So once I do my um, map there, I'm going to start putting the drops, okay? So each drop, it's a different thing. That's small grasses, weeds, trees. The rabbit dander, dog dander, cat dander. So I just have to put all these drops on the way, the same way I drew on your back, so it can match the tray. Who um, have you ever seen somebody uh, react like really, really bad before? Um, yes, I always see, uh, like, some people, like, maybe one or two out of the whole week react really bad. We do, like, four to, it can vary from four to, um, maybe from four to eight testings a day. I'm pretty sure you're about to get one of those bad ones. She hasn't even poached you yet and you already got red spots. But we get a we do a lot of skin tests uh, during the week. Um, there are some people that are so allergic that they even react to the skin test. But that's like very rare. Like they get like anaphylaxis. That, that's what I meant by reacting. The placement takes like around seven minutes. It's a lot to play. <laughs> <laughs> and the poking takes like less than a minute. The least bit of part. Mm -hmm. Do you have anybody freak out because of the poking? Yeah, we do. We do kids too. Like we do. The, oh, the oldest I've done is like. Um, Maybe seven months. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Allergy testing at seven months. That's yeah, huge. because uh, if the parent has like a history of food allergies, oh, um, they want to okay. test them before yeah. they start any foods, that like especially if it's uh, tree nuts. Oh, that, that makes sense. sense. Mm -hmm. And a lot of kids that have their parents with like tree nut allergy, like the most common is a peanut. Um, they come up positive. So that's when the EpiPen comes into play and avoiding all the nuts. And I think uh, peanut, the peanut allergy is the worst food allergy that you can have. I agree. I love peanuts. Peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And it's everywhere, to be honest. Yeah. You can read all the labels, make mm -hmm. sure that it wasn't even processed at a plant with mm -hmm. peanuts. Almost done with the drops. But I think the um, the babies are pretty easy to do because they don't even know what's going on. Just toddlers or uh, even like kids are like maybe between like eight and eight years old or, or 12 years old are like really hard to do 
because they're so strong or they move a lot. Yeah, they're very aware of what's going on. And like six year olds or seven year olds, those are hard too. We had this kid like wipe off the, his whole test after I was done placing it. <laughs> oh, it was no fun. Oh, oh, <laughs> I just. Do you have to do it all over again? Mm -hmm. Okay, here comes the pricking. Okay, let me know if you need a break. Nope, just don't show me the needle. Ah. So once I start pricking, I have to wipe it off with this gloss every time I prick so it doesn't contaminate. It's just a really small lancet. So it's not like I'm injecting you with anything, it's just going under your skin a little bit. Sensitive skin. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> okay, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. All right. Okay, so we do a 10 minute timer. Okay. I will be back. Don't touch or scratch your back, otherwise, it will ruin the test, okay? Okay. I will be back, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much. No problem. You know, through the camera lens, they kind of look like like real big stitches. That one seems to be pretty bad. Whatever the top right corner is. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch I'm it. I'm not touching it. I'm don't moving my hair. Oh my god, I want to scratch it so bad and it just already. Well, I mean, oh. you know, just look at it this way. You only got nine and a half minutes to go. Yay. Uh, you having a seizure? <laughs> no, it itches so bad. I don't know how they expect you to last for ten minutes without itching there. <laughs> Your fucking willpower. Uh Approximately 120 so we're about sailors left England and sailed to Roanoke. Island, off the coast no, of it's distracting me. Okay. Arriving sometime in so July we're about, uh, I don't know, about three the minutes in? The new That's a lot of red. Was John uh, it's like a lot of red. An artist. They were abused while attacked. <laughs> I'm trying to just so like myself. the vast majority of the ones on the right, or right, well, your left, on the, towards me, right, are all like fiery red. Well, fiery might be the wrong term, but the middle's pretty bad too. And then only, only these five right here on this side, like here. Don't touch. You're not supposed to touch. No, no, I'm, I'm touching on the other side. I'm not touching them. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! I want to scratch it, and you're just teasing me. Really? I'm going to yes. distract myself with BuzzFeed and Salt. That's cool. Uh -huh. Yeah, and she's kind of like a. Uh, at least the name Dare. So, like, if I did something like. Josh, I swear to God, I would fight you. It's such a pain in the ass to have to go back to England all the time. This is actually rather enjoyable for me. We should do this more often. <laughs> now you're supposed to be comforting me. Oh, that's what, that's what BuzzFeed's for. Well, looks like... Today on Diary of Renology Queen, we find if Lynn has a breaking point. Why is time was poor? England was on the verge of going to war with Spain, which had a pretty I'm gonna go with minute eight. He was unable to return to Roanoke for some time. It was not until August of 1590. Actually, you know what? Because time seems to be moving more slowly. You're probably like halfway there, then. So hang in there. Uh, so we're at minute seven ish. And we got hides forming on a lot of these. That, pretty much that entire row. And several in this row. I really, 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 oh my god, that one, there's only, I mean, it just itches. Like it doesn't, just there's just that one that hurts. There's, there's one that's like, 
right side closer to my spine that is about mid back and it hurts. That's the only one it hurts. I can put So it's gotten worse, um, just continued to get worse, apparently. I don't know if you can see that. It's gotten bigger. The doctor was like, hey, um, you may want to take something as soon as you can, because it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> he sounded a little worried. <laughs> uh, can I go home and go to bed now? Uh, nope. Yes. I'm no nope. bad. Hey guys, it is the next day and I just wanted to give you a quick update and go over my results. Um, first, my body is still very angry with me for doing the allergy testing. Now, it's not as bad as yesterday, not even close. I do feel better. Um, but it's still kind of that run down, almost cold-like feeling where your head's still full and um, things are still runny and gross, um, but not nearly as bad as yesterday. I do feel better. Um, you did see during the testing that I was pretty much allergic to everything. Um, I was not allergic to eight of the things that they tested me for, and they tested me for 54, 52. Play that back. Um, yeah, so... My results right here in front of me. Allergic to every single grass, every single type of tree, all of the weeds except for cotton, which is good where we live. Um, there are a lot of cotton fields and cotton is one of the main things grown here in Arizona. So that's good, at least I have that in my favor. Um, about half of the molds, and a couple miscellaneous things, cat dander, cockroach, ew. They tested you for cockroach, I mean, ew, but I mean, uh, I'm also allergic to it, so I guess there you go, I don't know, I don't know on that one. And um, dust mites, which none of that is any surprise to me, um, but it's nice to actually see it on paper so people don't just go... Oh, yeah, you're you're being dramatic. You're, you know, uh, blowing it out of proportion. How many, how much things you're allergic to? No, literally, here it is. Here's the testing. So I will start the allergy shots here in about two to three weeks. They have to be made. They're made to my specific allergies, and um, we'll start them once a week, and then progressively go every two weeks, every three weeks, every then once a month. Um, and then they retest in four years to see what immunity I have gotten. Now, they did say that doesn't mean that you get to stop the allergy shots at that point, which at this point I'm taking medicine every night. I'm taking a lot of medicine every night. And if I can feel better without having to, like, drug myself and feel that tired, sleepy, I can't wake up in the morning, coffee doesn't help feeling, I am all for it. So I cannot wait to start this part of the journey. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will be happy to answer them. Thank you for going on this journey with me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.